Hello everybody, this is Con on the Road. Now, some time back, uh, Bobby posted a video on Horizon Facebook, uh, you know, talking about bringing strollers on the escalators. Okay, he, he, uh, he, he demonstrated how strollers, okay, all strollers are designed to be pushed onto elevators because of the way the linkages and the wheels are angled. It is meant to be pushed and inclined properly on an escalator. Okay, the, the, the rationale behind this is that in some countries, right, uh, the escalator sometimes is your only way up and down, like, you know, your MRT station, your LRT station, and, you know, and where people walk about a lot, right, okay, pre uh, mothers push their children out on strollers to, you know, do their groceries and all that. Their only way to, or their most convenient way to get anywhere is to is to push the pram their baby in a pram up the escalator okay so hence that rationale of this hence the need for for stroller companies to design their strollers to be able to to safely go up go on escalators okay so he in, in his video he demonstrate how to do it and i'm putting the link in the description checks description section for you to have a look at it lah. okay so after that video come out right uh, a friend of mine who works in the escalator business but i'm not allowed to disclose his identity because he's not a legal spokesperson he's not an authorized spokesperson for his company uh he 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 called me out for a drink and he basically told me that when you see he, as much as the strollers are designed to be able to are designed to with the angle of escalator steps in mind right the escalator companies do not encourage parents to use strollers going up escalators in fact they discourage wheelchair users they discourage you from pushing trolleys or anything of that sort uh, up an escalator okay and and the reason of course is obviously safety lah okay so uh we had a good chat and he actually uh shared with me some very interesting safety tips uh on using escalators and i thought you know i, I would share that back with you uh in this video okay guys so first thing when you approach any elevator right you notice all these uh warning signs okay these signs are it's not the building management or the lift company suka suka put one. These signs are mandated and they must contain all these warnings. Okay, tell you to hold your escalator handrails, stand between the yellow lines, supervise children, and be careful of your clothing. Okay, so the usual things that they will tell you is don't push trolleys, don't push strollers, step within the box, wheelchair all no, don't go and bend over the the thing all, and also be wary, be careful when you wear Crocs. Because there are cases where those of you who uh, there are people of passengers who wear Crocs, uh, because the Crocs are very soft rubber, right? So they can get caught in between the gaps. Ah, then the other thing is that these brushes. See these brushes? You think usually most of us think these brushes is to is to you know clean our footwear, right? It's not. Uh, the idea of these brushes they put here is to show is so that those of you who wear long skirt, who wear all the long item of clothing, it is to keep. Uh, is to prevent all your long items of clothing from being caught in between the, uh, you know, the, uh, what you call it, the gaps. Okay, and the thing is that, right, with, with escalators, it is impossible to have it gap-free because you need that tolerances to enable the, uh, the escalator to move freely without interference. So, uh, the other thing you need to note is at, at the end of every escalator, there's always an emergency stop button which you can press to stop the escalator uh, if anybody gets caught or trapped. Okay, this area, okay, uh, you notice that this is where you, usually when the this guide rail goes in, okay, they'll always have some rubber seals or whatever to prevent people from sticking their hand inside. But you know, all these things they're not idiot proof. And also observe this area, this gap between the guard rail and the rail itself. Uh, there's a these gaps are okay it is very easy for children's hands to be caught in between so be very very careful when uh when you are when you're taking the escalator with your kids okay guys so another word of advice is when you are when if you have to really push things up an escalator 
uh, always make sure to have one hand on the handrail this is so that you are able to brace yourself and hold yourself tight in the event that the escalator stops suddenly okay uh, one of the biggest risks when using escalators okay is you know the bigger cause let's say people can fall down whatever is when the escalator stops all of a sudden without warning due to some emergency maybe somebody press the emergency stop button because the the escalator to sunk code is that you may lose your balance because you are not prepared for the sudden change in in the in your velocity your sudden stop you're not prepared for it so as a result it causes you to lose balance and cause you to fall okay so coming back to the the topic the question of using prams on escalators personally i have pushed my kid uh up an escalator before on a pram uh, i don't i don't encourage it myself but i have done it before be simply because uh, it was the most convenient thing to do at the time, okay? And many, and, do, and those of you who are parents, you would have waited enough times at the lift, okay? I'm sure those of you who are parents, this is a very familiar situation. You wait five minutes for the lift to come. Then the lift comes about, door open, inside full of people and full of trolleys, full of stroller and all that. So you have to wait for the next one. And the next lift, also either full of comes you know five minutes ten minutes number so in total you spend 15 20 minutes waiting for lifts that you can't go get on right so and you are stuck there but of course we must i must emphasize the lift is definitely the safest uh, way to travel if you are having to push a shopping cart or a stroller plain and simple but the thing is this lah as parents sometimes we just have to take calculated risks with our kids okay uh, you it's just like you know you know that it is the, the safest way to travel with a baby in a car is with a child seat okay i always insist to strap my baby in a child seat okay? but sometimes you have no choice your taxi for example does not have a child seat so what do you do you're not going to just leave your baby there oh because no child seat you can't walk right so there are those times where you just have to take that calculated risk uh in life with your with your kids and but the thing is that whenever you take these calculated risks you have to be fully aware of what are the potential dangers so with when, when it comes to pushing a pram uh, into an escalator okay now pushing a pram up upwards is very easy it is coming down that to me is is, is a bit more tricky and a bit more difficult uh, so yeah i i think i i've rarely pushed a pram down the escalator i've only pushed up a few times but coming down i always took the lift so as my good friend highlighted right the biggest danger when you are when you are pushing your pram up or down an escalator right is when the escalator suddenly stops due to an emergency or malfunction that is when you are most susceptible to losing your balance and when you lose your balance and you fall uh, not only does it endanger you and your kid it endangers the people below you okay below you because you when you fall you fall down okay you fall down the thing. so it endangers the people below you and and it sub exposes them all uh, to the risk of injury okay so uh yeah so sometimes right you you can't avoid taking certain risks with your kids okay but where possible uh my my personal advice is where possible when you are in a shopping mall or whatever where possible always look for the lift if you really 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 cannot you have to use the escalator be extremely careful be extremely vigilant about it yeah and be very very mindful of the potential risks yeah okay so bear in mind just bear in mind one thing escalators are designed to be as safe as possible but they are not idiot proof they are built with 
the assumption that the human users, that is you and me, will exercise a fair degree of caution and alertness when you when when using them. Okay, so because the thing is that right, um, I did ask my friend, can you? Why can't you? Why can't the escalator have you know something like the anti pinch function of your car's power window? And his response is simple. You see, the thing is that the anti pinch feature of your power window and your power tailgate and all this right work on the principle of force detection. If it detects like a resistive force, then it does not it does not counter. It just comes back down. But if you were to design a similar feature on an escalator it will make the escalator too sensitive and your escalator will just stop at every every time somebody steps on it because there is no way to calibrate the escalators you know the force detection in order to be able to differentiate between someone stepping on it the severity of force of someone stepping on it versus say somebody's finger being caught inside the you know in between the the steps so you have to you you have to be aware of the various um, possible hazards when using the escalator. Okay, so that's it from me for this video. Until my next video, thanks for watching. Bye for now.